So guys, I'm going to show you how to install open phone in a Windows 11 machine. So first, we need to install this application that is called WSL or Windows Subsystem for Linux. So we go to our PowerShell, we search for Windows PowerShell. Once we are there, we hit this command wsl dash dash install and hit enter we are gonna be prompted with a uh, user account control so we just uh, we just allow this app to make changes we hit yes and now we're installing we accept again and now we're installing windows subsystem for linux by default as you can read in this page we're going to be installing the Ubuntu. If we wanted to install a, a specific distribution, we can use this command instead. So wsl install dash dash d and the name of the system we want to install. For the moment, we can go with the with the standard. First, it's going to install the Windows system for Linux. So this is going to take a uh, this is going to take some time. So we stop recording here and we will be back in a moment. So in this part, it's going to be maybe a little bit different for you because I already had installed this WSL application previously. So what it's going to ask you is to restart your computer, so you do that. And after that, it's going to prompt you with this enter new Unix username. You can put any username there, it's not necessarily the one in your Windows system. So you create a name and wait for, for it to ask you for a new password. So you type the password, taking take in mind that the, the things you write are not going to show be shown here. So you can type anything, as you see. So the password has been updated successfully, and the installation is successful. So we're now with this green letter, we are now in the Ubuntu terminal. So let me close this and open it once again. We can use we can uh, we can open PowerShell and here and type WSL and hit enter. And we are here in the Ubuntu system. Or you can exit this, exit this and search for WSL. As you can see it's the same. So now we are going to proceed installing OpenFoam. So we go to our navigator and we search for openfoam.com. Here we go to download um, current release. Uh, sorry, sorry, download and Linux. Because we are using the Linux terminal. So we select the Debian or Ubuntu and we're gonna use these commands here. So we copy the first command, we paste it and we hit enter. It's going to ask for our password, as you can see password 4, we type our password and we wait for the process to finish. So the repository is set up, you can now install packages. So we we copy the next command, and we paste it and we hit enter. Okay, if you run into any errors in this step. I suggest you do the following. Open another another terminal and go to uh, go to the this directory. 
etc apt source.list.dict. So we hit we type sudo to assign privileges nano open phone dot list. So we open that file, it's asking for our password. And this entry here, you can read arch amd64. We add this line rusted equals yes. And we hit, we hit control 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 o enter control x and we're out. So that just do that if you run into any errors here, just in case. Okay. So we proceed. We're gonna we're gonna copy the final line. Sudo install open phone the latest version 2306 default. So we install as we can see here. If we use default, we're gonna install everything. Not the minimalistic or the traditional, but everything. So we hit enter, and it's going to ask us if we if we want to continue. So W enter, and it's going to download and install. Okay, now everything is installed. So we can already use Open Phone. As we can see the last line, Open Phone twenty three o six. And we are there but before you go I would like to leave you another tip that would be to source open phone so every time we every time we open this WSL uh, we have all the commands ready to use so we don't need to launch launch at every time so to do that we're going to go to this direction so we're going to go to our home directory so we open our explorer we can go down here and search for Linux Ubuntu home the name of your user and here in dot uh, bash rc we open this with notepad and we're going to add this line this line that is going to be in the description this line dot slash user lib open phone open phone 2306 etc bash rc so we copy that and we put it in at the end of this file so we close that and now we open a wsl terminal and we can use for example let's use check mesh as we can see we are running open phone 2306 the latest version and uh, nothing is done because we're not in a case directory if we, if we want to change that we can go to one here i have one for example, we can be here and hit uh, the right mouse click and open in terminal and hit WSL. And now we are on the Ubuntu terminal. Another way to open in, open that is to in the in this bar we can just type type WSL and we are in that simulation. So let's re restaurant me check mesh to see if everything is okay. As we can see, it's running, and that would be all. We have install open phone 3306. So thank you for watching.